Like many problems in physics, a catch-up problem can be best approached by using the four steps. So first we write down our knowns and our unknowns. Uh, we have Brian and Adam, Adam and Brian running a race. Adam gets a five second head start and runs at 3.5 meters per second. Brian runs at 4.2 meters per second. When does Brian catch up to Adam? So we've got the five second head start, 3.5 meters per second, 4.2 meters per second, and then a when does Brian catch up? So the first thing we do is we know Adam's velocity is 3.5 meters per second. And we know Brian's velocity, which is 4.2 meters per second. We don't know time exactly, but we do know Adam's time is going to be whatever Brian's time is plus five seconds because he gets that five second head start. We do not know Brian's time. And in fact, that is our unknown. One key thing that we do know is that because it is a catch up problem, they catch up at the same exact place. So their distances or displacements will be the same. So we've now listed our variables, our knowns and our unknown. And we will start with this equation. The distances are the same. And we start with that because we also know that distance in general is simply velocity times time. So Adam's distance can be said this way. His velocity times his time and equals to Brian's velocity times his time. At this point, we have to substitute and solve. So Adam's velocity, 3.5 meters per second, times his time, which is Brian's time plus five seconds, is equal to Brian's velocity which is 4.2 meters per second times his time. Now we distribute. So it's 3.5 meters per second times Brian's time plus 3.5 meters per second times five seconds which will be 17.5, and these seconds cancel out, meters. And that is equal to 4.2 meters per second times Brian's time. Now we have one variable, Brian's time. Everything else is gone. So we just had to solve for that one variable. We have like terms, so we can subtract 3.5 meters per second times Brian's time from both sides. And that leaves us with 17.5 meters is equal to 0 0.7 meters per second times Brian's time. And now we simply divide to solve for Brian's time. So we will divide both sides by 0 0.07 meters per second. These meters cancel out is equal to Brian's time. So the 
question is, when does Brian catch up to Adam? And the answer is when Brian has been running for 25 seconds.